What's the latest update for Guild Wars 2 all about? What indie MMORPG is readying itself to launch this weekend? And what's the latest class to get the deep dive treatment from Wildstar's DevSpeak videos? Watch on to find out. This is MMORPG's Morning Report, and this is what you need to know for November 27th, 2013. Yesterday, ArenaNet launched their most recent living world update called Fractured. We have an excellent preview written by a pretty handsome guy over at MMORPG.com, but for those who are wondering what it retools and adds to the Fractals of the Mist series of dungeons, new rewards, new dungeons, new bosses, and new loot galore await you if you're into that sort of thing. Be sure to log in, update the Guild Wars 2 client, and give it a look, because, as always, it's free. So, why not? Indie MMORPG Eldevin from Hunted Cow Studios is getting amped up for launch this Saturday, November 30th. There's kind of a dearth of MMO releases this holiday, so why not cozy up to a Java-based browser MMO that has a deep focus on crafting and exploration? Eldevin will be available to all users this Saturday, or if you want to, you can buy a Founder Pack now and get in a few days early to help out a self-funded studio. And last but not least, Carbine Studios dug into another one of its classes this week with a new DevSpeak video focusing on the Stalker, one of Wildstar's several tank roles. The Stalker can also go all DPS with some serious Wolverine-esque claw abilities, or go all shadowy and evasion to grab aggro and tank for his party. Be sure to watch the full DevSpeak to get a great look at how the Stalker will use his suit's power to keep enemies dancing and bleeding. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen. Who are we kidding? This has been MMORPG's Morning Report, and this is what you needed to know for November 27th, 2013. I'm Bill Murphy. Follow me on Twitter at TheBillMurphy. Thanks for watching, and don't let a bad pug get you down. And, of course, have a happy Thanksgiving. Next time, guys.